they haven't written a character named Crispin yet. Um, <laughs> And, and with my, you know, because I am a character, we're all characters, we all decide what our character is. So, um, someone writes a character, the closest I think I can come up with is, um, certainly probably the closest to my natural voice at least, is uh, Togusa from Ghost in the Shell. Woo! Who's just sort of rookie beat cop on the street doing his thing. Um, and uh, it's sort of probably a combination between him and Shannon from Scrap Princess, I guess. It's just, it's always, it's like, it's like lighting, you know, to get lit from this side of your face or from that side of your face. Which one is you? I don't know. I don't even know how to answer this question. I don't think any of them really relate to me. Um, I'm just going to say the fever demon. <laughs> Fire. We'll just use that. We'll just use that. Actually, I like Hildy. Do you, any of you know Hildy? The suicidal grandma? That's close. Real close. Oh, God, that's great. I went with Wendy on this one. I, I don't know which one to say. I, I would have to say um, I was a zombie cat in episode six on Hell Girl. <laughs> There's nothing cooler than a zombie cat. I love that. So I'm a zombie cat. Hildy the suicidal grandma. Hildy the suicidal grandma. Just the one. What was that? You guys all walk. Oh. Alright, we need some new hands. Purple shirt. What's the hardest for you to get the emotion across the character was What line was the hardest to get the emotion across? What character was it? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Wasn't on the list. Um, let's see. Boy, that is it. That is a tough. As far as one line that sticks out. You know, I could say something funny, but one of the hardest characters I played, we talked about this in the panel before, was Kagero and Basilisk, who just got tortured and ruthless. I mean, it was just crazy at the end of that, at the end of Basilisk. So anything she said at the end of that series was difficult, difficult. Now to you, sir. Something that Shinji said. <laughs> It's interesting because one of the ones I was probably nervous about most, thought it was most challenging, was at the end of Wolf's Reign, for those of you who have seen it, and I'm not going to spoil it, it gets it to be a bit of a tearjerker, and Sume, my character, has a, has a big monologue, and it really was important to me to do that well. But it actually wasn't that hard, it wasn't as hard as doing this one line from Utena, which I didn't really believe was the line, but it was, oh yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> You certainly lit the fire in my heart, and I was like, "You've got—is that really the line? Is that, that's kind of just a bad translation." Like, they go, "Here's got to be a bad translation," yeah. and they're like, "Here's the Japanese." Oh yes, a baby. I was like, oh. "Okay, we're all in." That is funny. Wow, I can't follow that up. That was really bad. I think. Uh, I was talking about this earlier. One of the hardest things, I, I played Camilla in the Full Metal Alchemist video game. I don't know if any of you ever played or saw that. It's a totally different role than Envy, and that was hard. All of that stuff was hard to do. At the end of that whole death scene, I was actually physically crying in the booth and shaking. And that was just, I, I don't know why that happened to me. It was the first time that my voice had ever uh, invoked tears. You know what I mean? Like that guttural, primal sound. And I was crying, and I didn't know why. And it was funny, Chris Abbott was like, are you all right? I was like, I'm on the rug. I was on the ground, on the floor, and he was like, okay, well, get up, because the mic's not on the ground. So that was the part. <laughs> Zombie cat. <laughs> but um, a lot of them are kind of difficult because when he was, uh, Chris was talking about the translation, sometimes it's really hard to get that, you know, through because our reactions are different, our emotions are different when you go through that translation. And sometimes you get caught with the flaps when a character's talking and you're trying to do the translation. You have too many mouth movements for your lines. So sometimes in the booth you have to, oh, like, okay, what else can I say? You know, add more to it. So, I mean, technically, it, it's all kind of a challenge if you think about it. So, yeah, that's it. 
All right, zombie cat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kristen, um, one of my absolute favorite characters that you have done is probably Elbel, not Star Ocean. Can you uh -oh. say a line from Star Ocean with Elbel? Do you have a favorite line? Um, keep your distance, your stupidity is contagious. Yeah. <laughs> I love Elbel. Keep your distance, your stupidity is contagious. <laughs> Shirts. I buy that. No, no, the gentleman with the black hair, yes. Yeah, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, uh, voice acting in anime is much different from doing it for video game. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it depends. The, the, the challenge in a video game is that you, it, you so rarely have context. It's sort of like Rubik's Cube voice acting, like they have to be able to recombine your lines and still make them work. Um, and uh, so, but at least you're not limited to the actual lip flap on the screen. So that, that's, a, that's a disadvantage. But the advantage of the lip flap on the screen is you see the world, like it's done. And, and when you get it and, and you've gotten a read that you think works, you know it works because you can see it with the picture on the screen. You go, cool, that's cool, let's move on. Whereas in video game stuff, I've gone back and listened to stuff I've done in video games and go, they totally misdirected me. That doesn't look anything like what they said it was going to be. Um, so uh, it's, <laughs> like, it, 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 it's, a, it's a very different uh, animal. Actually, probably the, the, that's why some of the best voice acting comes out of uh, like TV animation, domestic animation, when we record in a group. Um, because then they're animating to us. Um, and then even if there is something that we need to pick up later, they'll have us come in and, and maybe match the lip flaps here and there. But uh, most of the time, they're, they're, sort of, they're animating to us, and the director is directing us, and everyone's in the room playing off of each other, so it has a little more of an organic feel. Okay. Thank you right there. We have time for a couple more. Yay! Yes. It is for Mr. Spy. Yes. Can you do some Akito for us from the disco? Oh, Akito. Uh, no. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, let's go. Oh, okay. Uh, there's this one thing where we did was which was directly against Shinji when we were doing a big battle scene, one of the first battle scenes in his his. Ava. Whatever. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Akito says uh, we just threw it in there because he he runs away and I'm like, dig me. <laughs> he takes off. <laughs> okay. And sold. Way back there. Your hand. Yes. Yes. No, no. Way back there. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? Hold that. You've been had your head up forever. Go ahead. All right. This question could go to all of you. I know every anime fan has went through this at some time in their life, but 